So my name is Chloe Reeve. I'm from the Engineering Technology Group. Um, I'm Technical Coordinator there. So what I do is I coordinate a lot of the uh, programmer courses, training courses, operator courses. I think the most exciting aspect is that everything, every little thing you do is different. You'll never come across the same part twice. And with that, there's if you have one part, there's thousands of different ways to get to the end product, whether it's right or wrong, you get to that end product. And it's nice to see as well in different companies how they work and where our machines are going into and what they're being used for. Sometimes I work on my own, whereas sometimes I do work part as a team. When we're in the office, um, there's a group of in the technical division, so we're technical engineers. Obviously, we do work as a team, maybe if we're doing something like a turnkey, which turnkey is a whole engineering package, so it's to do with the machine, it's to do with the skilling, the programming, the setting up of the machine from start to finish. So with that, you do then work as a team, but then there are spot, spot checks as well that I'll go out on my own and just work on my own. But last week, I was in Portsmouth. Today I'm here, and then tonight I'm driving down to Kent for the week, and then next week I'm in um, Newcastle. The thing that inspired me was I got into this industry because my grandparents, my granddads, one of them was a tool maker and the other one was a draftsman. So seeing them and being brought up around engineering, it was kind of not second nature, but something that I wanted to do. So I think the enjoyment I get out of it as well is when you go to a customer and you see that the training that you've given them has given them the influence to create these parts without your help. It just gives you a bit of a great satisfaction. So I understand that you go to university and you're studying things like that, but you, in engineering you need the hands-on experience, you need to get those years behind your back, and having apprenticeships like I did, um, and like a lot of people are doing now, is probably the best way and the most important way to bring up your new staff and close that skills gap. The best thing is the industry is, like I said earlier, feeling satisfaction from doing a good job, coming home, and it's, it's it basically when I go in to do a job, there's a weight on my shoulders, and until I've lifted that weight, I know that I've done a good job. I do hope to stay at the company I'm at now um, and progress myself into managerial status, obviously in the long distance future. Um, but obviously at the moment, I came out of my apprenticeship. Uh, about 18 months ago and I'm still learning now. There's so much now that I'm still learning. I still feel like a baby at the moment, still learning, but I'm getting there, so hopefully with time I'll be all right. I'd like to be managing a team of engineers and helping them out and obviously bringing apprentices through as well. Maybe if the, what, what I'm doing now doesn't work out, I would actually try being a mentor with apprentices because I did it myself, I know what it's like. So. I got an A star in my A level, so my uh, and I only did product design because my teacher said do something that you, that you enjoy, so that's why I chose it, and that's why I got a really good grade in it. And then off the back of that, we did an engineering course, so it was like a little insight into engineering. And I think without that, I wouldn't be here. There's so many sectors that you can fit into. It's not always the labour jobs. There's always the mathematics behind it, the physics behind it. Don't let anyone tell you not to do it, especially if you're a woman. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, then don't do it.